Good evening and welcome to Between the Lanes, episode number 148. I'm Ron, I'm solo, no shame. This is going to kind of be short and sweet tonight, but it's the 4th of July weekend coming up. Happy birthday, America. And let's start talking about slot cars. Again, welcome to Between the Lanes, episode number 148. Find us on YouTube, Slot Racers, the channel, 148 episodes, some special episodes, and some how-to videos on the channel. Find us on Facebook, Between the Lanes is the page, and we have race results. We have race results from past two weekends, kind of get, a, kind of get caught up on a couple of things we missed and uh, get back on track here. Okay, so... Two weeks ago, Mad Fast was at the Slot Car Track Concord uh, in the trucks class. Uh, Charles Eldridge, sorry, Charles. Charles Eldridge was the winner. Walker McNulty was second. Timmy Bottoms was third. Four and a half scale class, Charles was the winner again, pulling off a double on the oval. Timmy Bottoms second. Walker was third. GTP on the King Cobra. Walker McNulty was your winner. Charles Eldridge was second. Timmy Bottoms third, and then DTM on the flat track. James Merriman was the winner. Walker was second, and Russ Martin was third. Uh, Nazra had a warm-up race at Slot Car Raceway LLC in Houston, Texas, site of the 2021 Nazra Nats coming up in September. Um, I can only find results for two classes, so I'm assuming that's all they raced. Two motor open, no pictures of the podiums. Two motor open winner was Kyle. Forrest Watcher second. Gary Pitts was third. And in the open race, Shelby Thomas was the winner. Gary Pitts second. And Forrest Watchers was third. Uh, the Gator Retro Racing region was in action at the race place, South Daytona, Florida. Can Am was won by Danny Zona. Jeff Bonanno was second. Tony P third. Stock car DZ was the winner again, Jeff Bonanno second again, and Marcus Ramos wound up on the podium in the stock car race. Uh, also in Florida last weekend, they had the wing car, Florida wing car series, P1 Raceway, Winter Garden, Florida. Group 12 was won by Carmen Spence, Jeff Cox second, Grant Gorner was third. Group 12 Light was won by Tommy Stringfield, Carmen was second, and Grant was third in that. And the last class was Group F. Oh, yeah, Group F was the last class. Maybe it was the first class, but last class on my list. Uh, Marcus Ramos was the winner. Daniel Lombardi second. Mike Wilson third. And then don't have any pitchers. Uh, Retro East was at Speed Zone New Jersey last weekend. Stock car was won by Edsel. Jimmy Williams second, John Weaver third. And then in F1, Keith Libby was the winner over Matt Bruce and John Weaver. So, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Shane missed his cue. Uh, no races this weekend on my calendar for the holiday weekend. Um, but the uh, weekend of July 11th, <clears throat> we got the AWRA at the Slot Car Track Concord. Retro East is at Port Jeff. On the 18th of July, we have Summer Series number three at Real Speed in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And the weekend of the 25th, we've got uh, Gator Retro Racing Region, Fast Eddie's, Pinellas Park, Florida. And the Thaser Pro Slot Hard Body Series will be at Thaser on July 25th. Um, Racers in the news, slot car racers uh, winning real races. So Ralph Thorne um, has been winning some go-kart races down in Florida the last, uh, in the last month or so. Racing go-karts, winning. Um, Greg Fox has been drag racing. And uh, a couple weeks back, uh, they pulled off a big win. Uh, drag racing with some cash in the pocket. They were the winner and the runner up with the same car. And Cap Henry, whoop, we passed it. Cap Henry's been on a roll. Oh geez, we're all over the place here. 
So Cap Henry's kind of been on a roll in the sprint car lately. I think he's won four features in the last, I don't know, five weeks or so. And um, he's off to a good start. So congratulations to Ralph, Greg, and Cap for winning some real races in the summer time when slot racing is usually a little bit slower, fewer races to go to. So they're out there doing some other racing, different type of racing. Whoa. Sad to report that um, Henry, Tru Henry Trujillo passed away last week. Um, Henry is Duran's father. Um, they've been a racing team uh, for many, many years, probably over 20 years. Um, Henry really didn't race a whole lot compared to Duran. I mean, Henry took Duran to the races, Duran raced, but every now and then Henry would pick up a controller and join in. And uh, Henry's there in the middle in the purple shirt. And um, I've known Henry for uh, since the late 90s. Super nice guy, uh, great guy, uh, fair guy. Um, always, always had good interaction with Henry over the years. Um, a tremendous loss to Duran in the, in the Buena Park Raceway uh, family out there. And um, may he rest in peace. So before I close this out, uh, the Flexi Palooza race is on. Um, going to be August 23rd, 23rd, Down River Speedway in uh, Lincoln Park, Michigan, which is the Detroit area. I believe it's limited to 40 entries. Last count, I think they were up to 30. So if you're thinking about going to the race, you need to get signed up. Um, that race is going to be run um, with the COVID rotation. The state of Michigan is still requiring, as of now, um, social distancing along with wearing masks. Now, the race will be run with the COVID rotation, but mask is up in the air yet. If they're required by the state of Michigan, then you'll have to wear them. If not, masks will be optional. So um, other than that, that's all I got for this week. Uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, hopefully Shane will be back. Uh, he's just taking the night off. And the secret uh, word or the, or the uh, word of the show is Henry, in honor of Henry Trujillo. So that's all I got. Have a safe weekend. Uh, we look forward to, see, to talking to you next week, and uh, be safe this holiday weekend.